Yeah, my name is Rick Lapore. I'm an engineer for the fire department in Oakland. I've been with uh, the department 32 years, 29 of it as an engineer. We've been involved with uh, Pierce since 1997, and we started getting the Quantums that year. And uh, we now are going to have 30 engines, and we have six ladder trucks with uh, Pierce. I'm very happy with them all the way through. The last truck delivery was last year, which happens to be in my firehouse, and we're picking up three more engines right now on this delivery. And we've been very happy with the Quantums for the uh, 17, 18 years we've been having them. Uh, a lot of uh, the guys love the Quantums. If we go away from the Quantums, I'm going to have to sleep with a gun under my pillow. <laughs> So anyway, uh, the Quantums we do is very basic. Uh, we try to go around 95% of what we do. We try to build the rig for that and adapt to the other 5% we might take care of. Our department is very busy. We're probably within the top three per capita in the state of California for runs, upwards of almost 100,000 runs for the uh, department. And that's uh, divided between 25 engines, some that are very busy, others that aren't very busy at all. We have a topography of uh, a lot of hills and urban interface is what they call it back in California. We have a 1991 Oakland Hills fire where we lost 3,300 homes in one day. Uh, that was pretty historic. And uh, it's a real challenge for us because of the difference with the downtown, with the flatlands, than the hills, and we had quantum specially made for the hills uh, four years ago, five years ago, uh, with a shorter wheelbase that could carry the same amount of equipment that we have right now. Anyway, uh, in the cab, as you can see, it's pretty barren in there. Uh, we like the room inside the cab, uh, and we can add to it. We thought it was better to have more of the room inside the cab and add to it if the guys needed it but not take away the room from the very beginning to see what uh, we would want to do. We try to ask our people, what do you want to see in a fire engine? They tell us. Back when we very first started the Quantum, the biggest problem we had was accessing the pre-connects. We had a special build done with Pierce where the pre-connects are only 69, in 69 inches off the ground where most of our people can reach them with no heartache or having to step up on the rig itself where the footing would be compromised on you. As we walk the rig, it's like I said, uh, we don't carry toolboxes, everything is pretty basic. Slide out trays for equipment. We don't have racks inside uh, to pin equipment. We just lay it flat right now because uh, we access it all the time. And equipment changes. Once you start mounting stuff on a wall, if you get rid of that equipment or you upgrade, now you're making more holes in the cab to uh, get the new equipment in there. So we kind of keep it freed up so we can adapt to stuff for new stuff coming out. The one thing we're big on is trying to keep the heavy weight low. So if you're pulling extinguishers or toolboxes, we can slide out trays, and you don't want to be reaching up here because you don't want to stretch your shoulders out for boxes or extinguishers. You want to keep stuff low where you can lift it up off the ground. And, and that's the reason for the compartmentization that we have. This one specialty compartment is our uh, EMS compartment. We carry drugs, we got paramedics on our rigs, and with the type of inner city problems that a lot of urban cities have, we have a lot of crime, we've had some uh, boxes stolen, so we had to go to a locking system right here that is both manual and electronic. And we have the electronics here that are all covered up for the electronic lock, but how we access it is, is we have a button inside to release the lock, and we also put one here for the paramedic where this blue tape is. That's why we left the blue tape there, was just to show where the button goes. And, uh, but we can also do it manually if electrically something fails. As you can see by the pump configuration, and we did do it over there, very simple pump. We don't pump foam at fires. We can if we have to, if we're having a particular problem with the material inside that won't go out but as a first attack uh, situation for our station or our department, we do not use foam and it works for us. As I said, we are very busy. Like most departments in the uh, United States, 80% of our runs are uh, medical, but we do get a lot of fires and uh, we really would have a very expensive situation <laughs> using the foam all the time. 
so we don't do it. Uh, but we have used it for our wildland situations to get the fires out up in the brush areas and also where you get a lot of material stacked inside rooms that we just, uh, before we overhaul, we try to get it out as completely as we can. And uh, that's really, you know, as simple as I can do it. We have the, the cab lift option here like all the Quantums do, but we put it in the front bumper because that's how we started. Uh, now most of them is over on the pump panel. This is something that we do. The other option that we do is a front discharge. A front inch, inch and three quarter line is used. And what the inch and three quarter line we, we decide to use for is we have a lot of freeway traffic and the Port of Oldman that's the second busiest on the west coast. A lot of material on trucks and other vehicles gets transported and we've had bad situations with them. What our thinking was is we want a lot of water, we don't want to take it off the side of the rig, we want to use the engine as protection for the crew. So we take it off the front bumper and we got 31 feet of engine that protects us in case somebody decides to skylark and run into the engine. We're protected, we don't get blasted. It's been a pretty well, pretty good situation for us in that way because of our freeway traffic and, and stuff in the city. But the Quantum, like I said, we've done improvements to it. We extended the cabin back for more room because we're asked to, be, to do more room. We've got more cab area in here now as far as uh, inside the cab for the crews because we're asked to carry more equipment with our wildland gear. But the body, is still a mid-body, uh, is the term Pierce uses, but we extended it all the way to the tailboard now, so our back two compartments have a lot more room in to carry our equipment. And as I said, a uh, few changes we've done. We went from a Velvac mirror to the uh, Ramco mirror to the Western mirrors, which the guys enjoy. They're all, they're all electric. We do not use air conditioning. Our uh, mean, median temperature in the Bay Area is 68 degrees. So like I said, 90% of the time, we don't need air. There are a few days we do need it, but uh, we lose the visibility inside the cab. The roof drops down, you have the air conditioning vents, you have the conduit stands inside the cab that kind of like are in the way. The one thing that the firefighters really like about this is the room inside. They really rave about it and they like it, especially when they have to go into a Type 3, which is a wildland rig, and you're cramped and you're scrunched and you're just you know, feel like you're in a sardine can. And I really, that's really about it. I can't think of anything else, uh, you know, that I can talk about, you know, on it. It's pretty basic. And if there are any questions, I'll be glad to field them. Thank you.